cemeteries are extremely dignified places that have so many uh, emotions attached to them. It can be sadness, bereavement, it can be comfort, it can be solace, it can be memories, uh, but above all, it's a place where we go to uh, remember our loved ones. Market Bosworth has a beautiful cemetery already um, and it delivers all of those, those aspirations that, that I've just talked about. Um, but they wanted to actually have a, a cemetery shelter and that's where the Borough Council were able to assist with a PCIF grant and, and deliver, partially deliver with 50% funding, a cemetery shelter. Good morning, thank you for meeting me today. It's, it's great to see the uh, cemetery shelter and the, and the posts now erected. So who, who came up with the idea for this? Because it's, it's wonderful. Well, the whole thing started as part of a landscape design for Ashes Scaffolding. So the first theme was to, to have an area which isn't too formal. Um, and it was an architect design who came up with a complete Ashes scattering area and the posts as part of it as a place to place remembrance plaques. It's wonderful and I feel it's probably something that when people see the video or learn about it in the future may be replicated elsewhere. It's a, it's a great idea and well done. Um, there is plenty of opportunity um, in order to uh, fill those up over time. So um, in, in many years we come back and we're going to see many many more plaques on there but well done. It's a, it's a good design concept and, and it's very fitting to to the location that we're in. While we're in Market Bosworth, scouts and scouting is a massive part of community effort in, in uh, educating children and young people into uh, to all of the things that they can experience during scouting and scouts. Market Bosworth Scouting Hook uh, over recent years had declined in, in the number of, of, um, of, of people attending and also the building had issues which were making that experience overall less, less enjoyable than, than we'd wished it to be. As you know, it's very important to the Borough Council about um, the climate issue and we declared a climate emergency. One of the largest issues of this building was a the size of it and also it was built at a time where it wasn't energy efficient as we'd be defined today. A huge area to clad the outside in order to improve that energy efficiency and more importantly the user experience inside. They also had issues with the uh, perimeter fence and, and that was another part of the grant. So in improving the energy efficiency and the overall user experience, the, the cladding to the outside of the wall has insulated the building to a degree not seen before. And that was also complemented by the space heaters in the roof, which are much more energy efficient, much more cost effective and do a better job of, of warming the environment that the uh, scouts and scouting activities take place in. John, we've known each other for a long time and if we go back not very many years at all the, the building here looks very different to what it did do. From a, a parish council perspective um, it's, it's far more enjoyed now by, by its user groups than, than it ever was isn't it? Certainly I think the numbers um, have, have increased slowly at first but yeah really taken off in, in quite a big way with all age groups now very very well supported. The Borough Council has declared a climate emergency back in 2019 and just recently a biodiversity emergency. This is a great example of how you take a building that wasn't very environmentally friendly, let's be honest, uh, to something that's fit for the future, way into the future. So congratulations to everybody that's been involved in this. This is very much a great example of what we're trying to achieve out in communities to make those spaces more environmentally friendly, reduce the carbon impact and a more usable experience. So thank you very much.